Right guys, it's Betmaster Ben back here again for Sports Bet TV, bringing you the weekly tips, all things related to football, darts, boxing, cricket, tennis. We're going to bring it to you all this season. It's the start of a fresh season and we have got some interesting tips to bring to you this weekend. I'm going to bring you the football tips. My colleague Josh Green is going to bring you the darts tip this weekend. So let's head over to Josh and see what he's got for us this weekend. Hello and welcome back to Sports Bet TV. Well, today we've got a tip for you from the world of the British Dart Organisation. One of their major events is coming up in a couple of weeks at Blackburn's King George Hall. And we've got Martin Kleermacher, the Dutch number one, the Dutch giant, of course, 28 years of age. And he is 20 to 1 to win the tournament, despite being one of the most formed players in the BDO heading into the tournament. He's quite a way down in the betting order. Scott Mitchell, some of the old guard, of course, are higher in there. Scott Mitchell, 8-1. to one. Wesley Harms, former finalist there, is 9-1. to one. Scott Waits, the former two-time world champion, is 10-1. to one. But way down the betting order, around 9th or 10th. Martin Clearmacher, of course, a three-time winner on the tour this year. He won the double, the West Free's Open and Masters, beating Nick Kenny in the Open before beating fellow Dutchman Wesley Harms in the Masters event. That was in March, of course, but later on in the year, a couple months down the line, he won the Welsh Open, a much bigger event, but uh, beating Jim Williams in the final, the world number two in the BDO, beating 6-5 there, so who's to say he can't go and do that again in Blackburn? He's one of the form players going into this, and of course the Dutch number one as well, so Martin Kleermacher, 20-1 to with Sporting Bat, to win the BDO World Trophy 2019. Thanks, Josh. Hopefully that's going to come through for us this weekend. But what I've got for you for the football is a nice little fourfold to bring for you this weekend. First tip of the weekend is going to be Manchester City and Tottenham, both teams to score. Now, we saw last year in the Champions League finishing 3-4-3 three, three to Tottenham. Um, you know, this game historically does see a lot of goals, so I'm sticking with the theme I know last season in the Premier League it did finish 1-0 to Manchester City but I think that was a one-off and I think you know this fixture does usually produce goals so I'm going for both teams to score. The next tip I am going for Luton against West Brom, both teams to score again sticking with the same theme. Luton have had a flying start to the Championship but they have seen goals go in both ends so they've conceded and scored in both of their opening fixtures as of West Brom they've scored and conceded in both of their fixtures so far so I'm sticking to both teams to score we saw last season West Brom they shipped in a lot of goals but also scored a lot of goals it was it was a recurring theme in their season Luton they were high flying in League One just got promoted to the championship this season so I am going for both teams to score in that game for the third tip, I am going for Lincoln to beat South End at home in League One. Lincoln have had another flying start to the season with two wins out of two. South End have not had a great start. They have lost two out of two of their opening games of the season. So I am going for Lincoln to win. That was my third tip. And for finally, my final tip, I am going for Arsenal to beat Burnley at home. Now, Arsenal have beaten Burnley at home in their last seven fixtures against Burnley at the Emirates, so I am sticking with that. Arsenal to beat Burnley at home, and that brings you a nice little fourfold that will bring you five to one. So back that. Let's hope we collect some monies at the weekend, and we'll see you for a review early next week. See you next time.